Good morning. Can't find any teaspoons. Another one for the snag list. I remember when you used to use thermometers, the NHS teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Today, as with every other day in the ED, we'll bring all sorts of new wonders through that door. Uh, when the formal post-MCI debriefs happen? Oh, God, a morbidity and mortality meeting. Part of the job, Dr. Keith. But I prefer death and donuts. <laughs> a death and donut session. Mutual support. Colleagues sharing feelings in an informal get-together. Some people live, some people die. Meeting over. Next patient, please. Come on, we have a reception area full of patients, and I'm expecting a higher number of walk-ins today. How's he doing? PP's OK. 108 and 56. Still a bit tacky. Around 110. He's in a lot of pain. He's not our patient anymore. So when does that mean I can't take an interest in the outcome? Now how you love a man in uniform. I know. A man as ill as Marston does not require a constant parade of visitors. I'm fulfilling what very well may be his final request. I personally had to prefer the sugar babes. Too close. He is not your patient anymore. Who are you again? Dr. My Keogh. ex. Well, I'm still married, but long story. Oh. Okay, stop for a sec. How's he doing? Still asystole. Time of death. 1502. He did everything he could for himself. All right. Special delivery. Just arrived at reception. For you, just now. <laughs> wow. <Right. clears throat> to Dylan and Sam. They're from Heather. No, 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 no. No, no, they're definitely both of us. You keep them. You're the one who gave it. Well, it wasn't a happy ending, was it? But, um, well, you know what I mean. Actually, um, I do know what you mean. I know you better than you think. Mm. You can have my donut, Grumpy. Deep. You are. 